I, I'm, I don't know if we're creating another problem by trying to solve Boo. this one, possibly. Some animal activists flooded the government center. They're upset about two discussions tonight on the Charlotte City Council agenda. Now, the first one is about tethering animals. Channel 9 has told you that some people want a stricter ordinance to make sure animals are not tied up outside for a long period of time in the heat or bitter cold. And the other major issue tonight is a potential ban on some circus and exotic animals. Our government reporter Joe Bruno is live for us tonight. Joe, things got pretty tense inside the meeting. Yeah, quite a few outbursts tonight from boos to people yelling, think of the animals. Ultimately, Charlotte City Council is passing this on to the city manager and city staff for now to produce a report with recommendations on how council members should move forward. Holding signs saying, do you support animal abuse and unchained Charlotte? Dozens of animal welfare advocates packed the government center calling on Charlotte City Council to ban tethering and circus animal acts. At times, some testy exchanges. Animals don't talk. I don't know if we're creating another problem by trying to solve this one, possibly. Currently, Charlotte City Council allows tethering if certain requirements are met, like the type of chain and the age of the dog. It's an issue Channel 9 has investigated for the past couple of weeks. Cities like Asheville have banned the practice outright. Now animal welfare advocates want to see that happen here. The biggest thing is we have to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. Overall, though, tether complaints are down. Some council members, including Lawana Mayfield, want to make sure tethering bans won't negatively affect people who are on fixed incomes. So it will be helpful to know what would the impact be specifically on lower income, working class communities. The other hot topic was a potential circus animal ban. This is video of the Universal Circus in 1999. The event has been held in Charlotte for two decades. Mayfield says the circus is strongly opposed and wants a chance to make its case. Before there's any real conversation regarding a decision one way or another, that there is an opportunity for the stakeholders who are not in support of this ban to be able to share their concerns. Animal advocates say they don't want to ban circuses, just their animal performances. It is way past time for them to get rid of this barbaric practice. The current tethering laws on the books require a leash to be about 10 feet, at least 10 feet long. For some perspective, that's the distance from the live truck to where I am standing right now. The city hopes that this report compiled by the city manager will be ready by the end of the year, Scott. Yeah, busy night for city council tonight, Joe. They also, council members, voted on the silver line in studying that, right? Yeah, Charlotte City Council ultimately voted 8 to 2 to move forward with this $50 million plan to design the Silver Line. The goal for the city is ambitious. They want to create another light rail line that would connect Matthews to Belmont with a stop at the airport. Council members Tark Picari and Ed Driggs voted no over funding questions for the future line. But other city leaders say it's imperative to move forward. But I would hate to think that we would... Uh stop this project dead in its tracks before it even gets off the ground. So originally the city was saying it would take five to seven years to plan this line. The city is now saying it's only going to take two to three years. One last note, Charlotte City Council had a 90 minute closed session meeting tonight. A source tells me that meeting's focus was MLS expansion. Erica. All right, Joe. Thank you.